Hi, I'm Rocco Steno and welcome to Storymakers. We have a special show today because we have Tira Hader with us. Hello. And your book, How Do You Dance? How do you dance? That is a good question and we're going to be answering that question. How do you dance? How do you how, dance? And how do I dance? And how do you dance out there? Start by telling me a little bit about the book. Is it a dancing book? It is a dancing book, but it's also, uh, you don't have to dance book. But these kids look like they're having a great time. So are these characters yeah. from the book? These are all characters from the book. All of these kids sort of came from kids I knew or parts of myself. The little kid with the green turtleneck who doesn't dance is the part of me that doesn't always want to dance. I would say that blue bathing suit is the part of me that wants to dance immediately. It started with a drawing I did for a dance party mm -hmm. that my friend threw in a barn and she asked me to do a chalk, a chalk drawing on the wall. And I thought, oh, I'll just draw people dancing. And while I was drawing, I couldn't think of different moves. So I just kept going, Edith, how do you dance? And she would say, like this. And I would draw her. And I would say, Ada, how do you dance? And she'd say, like this. And I would draw her. And I thought, oh, that's such a funny idea for a book. Like this, like this, like this. And it would just all be real people dancing. I didn't want to make a book about professional dancers. I wanted to make a book about real dancers. So then I started asking my friends to send me their videos. Like my friend Aurora sent a video where she was scrunching up her shoulders really high. And I thought, oh, what a funny move. You can see she became a character. These videos that people sent me became ideas for the book. And then most of the book is actually based on real people. Oh, These they're all, all real people. Really? My friend Edith. Uh-huh. My dog, Toby. Oh, Toby. And there's me. Right there. Okay. I wish I would have known <laughs> this because I would have sent a, I a video. So that would I have could, looked so good in the illustration, the that's little bow tie. With the little bow tie, <laughs> right. Oh, here's our friend that's back here, right? Yeah, yes. Joseph. Yeah, here's Joseph. He goes, maybe you have no bones. And then Joseph's kind of like, like this, right? Or maybe you are made of metal. Ooh. So I guess he's doing the robot, yeah, right? Yeah, that is, that is a version of the robot. I tried to practice the robot mm -hmm. for that page. It was very hard. I watched a lot of robot videos. <laughs> <laughs> you have this spread, which is two pages of uh, drawings mm -hmm. that are connected. And it says, try some new moves. Well, you know, I'm always looking for some new moves. Well, I figured sometimes people need a little help to start. You know, some people like Blue Bathing Suit want to dance immediately. Some people might be a little shy, might not want to. So I thought I would give some ideas. Mm -hmm. um, and I would love to see maybe oh, if you I'm always to try looking, I'm always looking for a new move. So <laughs> what I am going to do, I am just going to do a random point to see what move I am going to do. The mister. The mister. I can do the mister. That's an easy <laughs> one for me. Let me see. The mister. <laughs> That's a good mister. I'm going to do the windy. The windy. <sighs> Very good. What about the sneak? I don't know how to do the sneak. What about the jiggle? Okay. Good jiggle. Okay. What about moving your fingers? What about moving your face? What about moving your knees? What about moving your toes? You can't see my toes, but they're going crazy. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is what I like to do to get really weird. Uh -huh. What if you have no bones? Sort of like the jiggle. But then suddenly you're made of metal. Why don't you join us? Uh, yeah. You can all be robots. You can all jiggle. Can you swivel? Let's go back to the mister. What about the sister? I don't know what the sister is. That's when you go, pa! Pa! <laughs> <laughs> That's what my sister and I used to do. Okay. Well, that was fun. Yeah, thanks for dancing with me. Oh, it was a lot of fun. Dancing kind of lets a person, you know, kind of be free because you kind of do yeah. things that you don't normally do. And you kind of, your inhibitions kind of, 
leave you and you, you kind of yeah. just kind of express yourself and people express themselves in different ways and dancing is yeah. one way of expressing yourself. It was very important for me to make a book that was joyful mm -hmm. and about expressing joy and moving your body when you feel joy. Right. But it's also important to have those moments when you're not feeling very joyful or feeling very happy to know that you can also move your body then and you can sort of roll around on your floor. You can dance alone in your room. I thought, oh, that's also a good idea to show moving on a sad day. So that's why I have that spread that says good days, rainy days, sad days even. Sometimes you just need to flop around until you feel better. You know, in uh, ballet, which is a form of mm -hmm. dancing, and, and when you, I love if ballet. You, yes, if you go to ballet, you, you know, there are sad scenes yeah. in ballet, but they, they show the sadness through movement. Yeah, and there's a way that, you know, your hand can be excited or your hand can be soft mm -hmm. and you can feel sad and you mm -hmm. can, and sometimes just the actual moving your body the way that you feel can actually make you feel different. Right. And, or just feel comforting. I like to sway when I feel sad and then suddenly I it feels better. Yeah, this was a lot of fun because yeah. I, I got a new dance move, maybe a few new dance moves. Yeah, and put you, those uh, in your pocket, yes, save them. Yes, I'm going to. And, uh, and there's a, a hashtag that you yes. use. It's, what's the hashtag? How do you dance? How do you dance? So it's hashtag, how do you dance? So boys and girls, you could check with the uh, grown up uh, in your life and if it's okay with them to post a video of you or your grown-ups uh, dancing with the hashtag how do you dance and we'd like to see those and maybe I will post one of yes, me please. doing the mister <laughs> yes <laughs> thank you again for being yeah, here and I, can't, for yes, me. and I can't wait to try out some of those moves I know thanks for letting me throw a party in yes <laughs> so remember until next time, read a book in any format.